Alright guys, so here we go. i um, going to talk about this clear body a little bit that I picked up. Uh, I originally was looking to possibly get the Proline. Uh, I think it was the C10 body, but when I watched the video on someone putting it on their Wheelie King, it looked like the, uh, I believe the Wheelie King was a uh, longer wheelbase. They customized it a little bit, so I didn't want to deal with all that. I just wanted to leave it a uh, stock wheelbase and not really mess with it too much. So just went ahead, ordered the stock uh, HBR Wheelie King clear body. And this is uh, part number 7122. It's a mini GT1 clear body. And, um, I uh, can't remember what it was on eBay. I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. So, um, you can find a lot of these bodies painted already with the, uh, default custom, not custom, but default, you know, RTR body paint. I'll be able to, uh, paint it and do however I want, you know, the masking and everything like that and make it look right. Um, without having to peel that old paint off and having some cracking issues. So, with this, um, it did come with window mask. I might might not use them, because um, I do want to do some stuff with that, so not sure yet. But it comes with that. It comes with, you know, little instructions here, just telling you where stickers go and stuff and what holes to drill. I don't think my plan is to drill body um, mount holes. I think I'm going to try to rig up some velcro system and just have it uh go on like that to make it look a little bit more real um this is just kind of painting tips it gives you too so that's nice and then it comes with a big sticker sheet of lights headlights um you know hbr wheel looking stickers all over some other king things windshield uh nets windshield itself a little strip on that you know just all kind of stickers and decals um so getting back to this body i'm going to uh i don't think i'm going to trim too much off the fenders or anything but um trying to come up with a paint scheme right now i think i might go two-tone or maybe do orange like an orange on the top maybe do the bed just a dark gray or black just because it's the bed and then maybe on the sides right here just do a strip of white and then on the fenders and down here and it kind of goes around on the bumpers just do it like uh, a gray maybe a little darker gray I'm not sure and then just uh, matte clear it later on so it has a different uh, look compared to the glossy paint so that's the plan with the colors right now not too sure things will change as I go um, what I did so far, I do it with uh, most clear bodies I get. I just go ahead and I, I grab my Sharpie. This is an ultra fine point, but if you have a regular Sharpie with fine points, it should be good. Um, I just trace around my windows, um, kind of trace the body lines where I think I'm going to uh, be painting and kind of masking off just to give me an idea. And then I'll go around the whole body too where I'm going to be cutting just to help me guide through it so I'm not cutting into something that might be part of the body I want to keep so got that um, I'm going to either be using just tape uh, wide two inch tape I think this is and then maybe I might just go into fast mask and use this liquid mask stuff I'm not sure yet so I got that and then of course Zactor knife if you are younger um, ask a adult to use this and don't try it yourself because you might cut yourself bad because these things are sharp so um if you are going to use this instead of the scissors um if you have a plastic one just be careful cutting because plastic ones tend to flex when you're putting pressure on them and or if you're cutting out your masking or whatever could uh flex enough to where it just throws your cut off so um if you get a nice solid metal one like this, you have no flex into it and you can really get into there with precision. So, got that going. Set that aside. And then I just picked this up. Because um, I might be just airbrushing some of this. I'm not sure. But it will probably help me for cutting some lines too. But went 
in the, uh, I was looking at Sharpies actually and just came across this at the, uh, store. Um, Myers isn't everywhere, but it's the same as like a Walmart, so around here at least. So this was two bucks, and now I don't need like the pencil, compass, uh, and all that stuff, but I do need a small ruler. And you get small triangles here. They're plastic, but nice right an right hand angles there, and nice circles. So, just two bucks to get those four pieces out of here is enough for me because I, you know, I could use this down the road, but maybe just give it to the kids. But, either way, two bucks, got nice airbrushing and um, body cutting utensils to use now. And, cheap, inexpensive, and these should last for a good while and they're small enough to fit into what I'm working with, so... Um, I believe that's all I'm really going to be using for this project. I might, you know, obviously bust out the airbrushing, uh, compressor and all that, but if not, I'll just be using regular spray paint probably, so. Um, this isn't really, uh, showing you guys how to paint or anything, because I, I done one video on that kind of before with the Punisher Jeep, uh, body, but... Maybe as I go through it, I'll just throw out um, some tips or what I'm doing and the, maybe some of the process. But at this point, I got my Sharpie lines down to what I want for design. So this paint job, I'm not going to rush like I did on the Punisher Jeep. I'm just going to try to film it as I go along. It may take a couple days. It may take a week. I don't know. Um, the Punisher Jeep, I did one night, one shot, just cranking it out for a video. Came out pretty nice but I want to try to take it easy and take my time so um, after this process now if you guys have not bought a clear shell before there's a film that is on the outside that is to protect it from overspray so um, just be leery of that but right now I'm going to end up cutting out my body itself I'm going around the whole truck and then I'll clean up my edges. I don't know if I'm keeping these side windows in or not, but they'll stay in momentarily though, just to uh, make up my mind. And then from there, I'll trim up the body as I said. Come in here, wash the whole inside with warm soapy water, rinse it, let it air dry, and then, because um, if you use some cloth or sometimes uh, paper towel, lint will be all in there and just mess it up. So. If you can, just let it air dry. And from there, I'm going to lay down either the tape or the liquid mask. And then I'm going to probably pick up from there with the video. Um, just to kind of show you guys what I've done and the next process to Now it. that the body has been um, fast masked, I ended up doing the liquid mask instead of masking tape. Um, just because it's a little bit easier to work with right now. Whatever you prefer, do that. But um, I ended up doing the fast mask from Parma. And um, at this stage, I kind of drew out roughly a grill and headlight idea and taillights. Um, I did not decide to use the window decal mask um, just because I wanted to do the uh, black outlines and the trim around the windows as well which if I don't know if the camera can pick it up but I peeled that portion off because I'm about to lay the black first you want to do uh, the dark colors first because if you do say white and then you're doing something else uh, black later and it goes um, the overspray hits it you can see through sometimes on the white and it has some blotches and stuff so just you want to be careful of that now I um, also was going to do a little lettering here um, BTS beyond the scale um, I don't know if you didn't see it I already peeled that as well um, not perfect by any means but just thought I'd attempt it uh, when you're doing this uh, just pretty simple you're going to uh, just use computer paper, whatever font, and print it off. What I do is I do a couple sizes because I don't know what size will fit perfect on 
whatever surface I'm doing so I'll do multiple sizes so I can just easily cut it out and use it instead of having to go back and resize print and keep doing that so also you do not want to print it like this where it's regular um, because when you place it on here and then you cut it it's going to be backwards so make sure when you're doing this do it mirrored so it's backwards when you print it off but then when you flip it and then you tape it using just some regular scotch tape when you tape it to the back right here or wherever you're taping it and then you cut it it'll come out perfectly correct and go in the right way when you read it instead of coming out um, backwards so just uh, pay attention to that but again just vary in the sizes so you can easily just cut out not wasting your time and um, continuing on your project in a timely manner okay so what else I did too was I went and cut all the uh, body lines or lines in general whatever I'm going to be peeling and cutting um, you don't peel all of it just cut everything and then and I did that with the exacto knife as I showed before um, cut everything and just as you're doing your colors you just peel off what you're not actually going to be uh, what you want to paint at that time uh, here I also if you guys want I did this as a demonstration I don't usually do it but just if you guys want as a tip you can write on the outside here since it has the uh, overspray film just write what color each section might be so if you do have a complicated uh, paint scheme you won't be forgetting uh, what color is going where so up here of orange down here white like a black line or dark gray put black up on the bed this will be a gray leave that clear so you get the idea but that's just a quick tip that might help you guys if you are new to uh, painting so you might see um, right here I have a a light box and I use this sometimes to uh, cut the lines makes it a little bit easier sometimes sometimes it doesn't but um, light box doesn't come in handy I have this one from uh, art class when I used to draw a lot just your standard light box nothing special um, I think I got this from whatever art store locally but it does come in handy so I think I paid like 13 bucks or something so if you guys want go ahead and pick it up this one has a dimmer to it but it does come in handy so if you're planning on doing a lot of bodies maybe look into one of these or find something that's just as bright that you could use and um, before I uh, move on and I go ahead and start doing my painting process off camera um, the stuff you guys trim the Lexan you trim off like this um, it is scrap but keep it because if you're testing out a new paint say it's a, a lime green you can paint these two scraps lime green but maybe back one with a white and then back another one with like a uh, gun metal or something and then you can kind of see the difference on how it comes out after it's been uh, sitting for a couple an hours and whatever the curing time is and so you do it on scrap to test it before you do it on your actual body of your uh, RC truck and um, finally I am going to be trying to paint the headlights and taillights um, I just kind of roughly sketched in what they might look like um, I've done painted headlights before it's been you know a couple years but um, how I go about it I just kind of roughly draw in what I'm going to do and I take if I have the sticker sheet I'll just use the headlights they provide as guides and taillights and just go off those as reference and then um, I usually start with my black outlines if I can and then from there I just fill in with uh, different uh, circles and tools I have much like this stuff just to uh, get my lines and stuff done and try to make it look realistic as possible um, these did come in handy cutting um, 
this was helpful to uh, use as a guide. Just got to be careful when you're cutting, not to cut into the ruler. Just use it as a guide. Um, but this, these were extremely helpful in the tight corners. And then when you're peeling, be careful. Just lift up a little edge and then get yourself some tweezers and it'll help you peel. Just take your time, be patient, and um, that'll help you, hopefully, help you guys uh, with some tips. Again, I'm not going to go over everything, like the painting and stuff, because this, this is just uh, in the pits video just to show you guys the new body for Brutus or the mud truck now. So um, I'm going to go ahead, uh, off camera, go lay down some black. Hopefully my cutting is decent and... I'll try to get some uh, paint layers done and then I'll try to pick it up halfway through and maybe um, have some more tips for you guys or something. But um, I will be back in maybe a couple hours, maybe a couple days. We will see where this ends up. Again, I'm not rushing it. I'm just taking my time and going through it. So hopefully it turns out decent because I'm not a good painter or by any means. So or that cutting mass so we shall see I just laid some paint down what you see here is um, did my black on the bed um, lettering in the back on the windows and then uh, after I think about four coats or so um, I think there's three or four real light coats just you know Making sure uh, in the first pass you go light and kind of let it dry and it seals up the uh, from paint leaking underneath your uh, masking. So that helps on that first one and then just kind of lightly coat it from a distance and it'll layer itself. You don't have to go too thick because white won't be penetrating it necessarily because it will be on your truck um, or your chassis. So. Um, you don't need a whole bunch of layers of paint so um, with that said I went ahead and peeled off the masking on the side for this little pen strip I decided to do um, can't see it right now with the orange on there but did that around the side there see how that turns out at the end I'm not sure just kind of a last minute thing and then I just laid one coat down of orange um, just to uh, give you guys an update I thought I would turn the camera on here so that's one coat of orange we're going to do a couple more kind of like the black and then from there go ahead and start um, probably peeling this bottom trim off here and that'll be all the way around probably a darker gray than where the pinstriping is or lighter I'm not sure and then the white stripe down the side and on the tailgate will be at the end. So and then I got to work on the headlights and taillights and grill. But so far, I think it's coming along. Um, the paint I'm using is just cheap spray paint. Um, I'm just testing and experimenting as well if or how long this paint would actually last on this body of Alexan. Um, typically, you certainly want to use a uh, Lexan specific paint just because it adheres and bonds to the, bo the body itself um, and it doesn't really chip off as easy so with that said I'm just experimenting here um, just because it's the paint I had on hand and um, just want to see how long it actually lasts and maybe do an update throughout the year of how well it's doing and because uh, a lot of people ask if you need it or not so I figure why not experiment and see and um, if you have the money right now probably be fine to go buy some Timia spray paint or whatever but this is experimental so um, I wouldn't recommend it just yet so I'll give an update on that later on the year but for now that's where I'm at with this I'm going to go ahead peel um, the masking after I finish the orange wrap it up hopefully and then uh, kind of talk to you guys about the body and the truck itself okay guys so just a another update here um, went ahead and got the gray got the white on the sides 
as you've seen earlier, and um, went ahead and moved to the uh, third light back here, kind of did that. Then uh, went ahead and started and did the headlights. Um, got the tail lights almost completed. I need to uh, go ahead and back it with some white. Um, the headlights I did do uh, the airbrushing <coughs> and as well as all the gray on the sides here, just because I didn't have any gray uh, rattle can. So, um, but. Also with the headlights I did airbrushing just because it's a lot easier so um, wrapping up letting the red dry real quick and then I'm going to back that with the white and then from there I have to finish the grill figure out something for that I'm not sure if that's the design I'm going to go with but I'm going to work on that figure that out and once that's done I'm going to try to back it all with white and then come to the outside and I will uh, explain more about how I'm going to mat the side fenders and stuff and the uh, bed and probably the trim on the outside of the windows on the passenger driver and rear probably leave the front the same so all right um, gotta get back to work here so catch up with you guys in a uh, couple hours and it's getting late got some tea here um, finish the inside did the white coat um, now I am using the exacto knife and going around the areas I want to matte finish so that means around this window the driver's side back here this bed which I didn't take off yet and this gray bottom trim and fenders all the way around. Um, I peeled off most of that already. I left the bed portion on for the most part just to uh, give you guys an idea of what I'm doing. Um, this film on the outside is just your overspray you can see here and it doesn't take much just lightly uh, carve out where you want to do your matte finish and you'll Get a corner up. If you need tweezers, use those. But if the corner's thick enough, go ahead and just peel it. Just go slow. Make sure your edges are cut all the way so you're not peeling off any of the other parts of the film you don't want to get mad finished. Alright. And there we go. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray those areas with the uh, matte clear finish and then once that's done I can remove my interior window masking and peel off the film on the outside and see how it turned out because I'm not a great painter um, especially at cutting and stuff like that out of practice with headlights the grill may or may not be great but we'll get to that in shortly all right guys so now that I finished my flat clear, I went ahead and peeled the inside of the windows off. And now I'm going to go ahead and just take off this film on the outside. Hoping not to uh, scratch anything. Definitely time for a new blade that's for certain again no idea how well this uh, paint job is gonna be it's been a while since I've really painted one myself I think the Brutus truck might have been the last time maybe all right so so far, coming out fairly clean. Yep. The grill is probably the roughest part of this paint job, just because it was last minute thrown together, so that very well is probably the uh, worst part. So, going from the front. 
Um, I just slapped this grill together. Looks a bit hackish, but it is what it is. Um, painted some best realistic highlights I could do. Um, those have been probably a couple years since I've really done headlights. Didn't turn out too bad. There's the side. Um, did a little third brake light action back here. Um, gotta peel off this back window. Gotta need to grab these side windows as well. back there in the side window these uh, I might end up just cutting these out anyways um, I don't know yet just cutting them like they're halfway rolled down or something but there's that side with the bed nice little matte finish um, lettering could be a little bit better it is what it is uh, the tail lights didn't come out too bad a little dark but I don't think it came out too bad and there's the other side and there it is so this is basically um, gonna be the mud truck I don't know what I would name it just yet but let's get the truck up here itself move this camera back here I'm going to be uh, you guys notice I didn't put any body uh, holes in it um, there's dimples for them so if you want to you can certainly do that but um i did it because i wanted to mount it a different way because i wanted to try to do a interior eventually to give it a realistic scale look um but i think because i was going to go magnet body mounts but due to budget cost as with anything i'm uh i have velcro laying around so i'm going to end up doing that as well but here she is. This is the HPR Wheelie King. Kind of change it from Brutus to a, a mud truck. And um, paint job didn't come out too bad, I guess, overall. Um, again, not a pro. It's been a while, but I thought it came out decent. Uh, I think I'll probably maybe throw uh, some decal stickers here and there. Maybe uh, the HPI wheel king or hpi uh website or something on the windshield or the back or something so um and that's it so um you know this wasn't no uh paint tutorial or anything like that's just uh trying to introduce the new concept for this hpi wheelie king um i'll probably do a video about how i'm going to go about mounting this and rigging that up and then you'll probably see a little bit more finished stuff on this truck. Again, down the road, maybe I can do a scale interior. Maybe some add some stuff on the outside, like door handles or something. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. Um, so hopefully some of the tips I showed you along the way, painting this body helped. It gave you some ideas for the future or any projects you currently are doing. So um, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And thank you to all the current supporters of the channel. And um, please share the video with a friend or a family member. And uh, go check out Beyond the Scale t-shirts. They are at um, my Etsy shop. They are not channel specific. Just humorous uh, t-shirts. And um, make great gifts or just buy one for yourself. And... Uh, for more great videos, uh, tune in weekly and I'll uh, see you guys next week.